You know, one thing to expect in the Lions draft coming up here is maybe the unexpected. Uh, they obviously need interior offensive line help and interior defensive line help. So they could use like the, the big tackle, you know, Vita VA from Washington would be an ideal pick for them. Uh, they really need some help inside on offense uh, on the line. So, and there's a real good draft for centers. Uh, James Daniels, Frank Ragnow, a lot of people looking at those two as possible draft picks for the Lions at 20th overall. Uh, the running back situation, I think they can get somebody. But I don't know if they're necessarily going to take a running back in the first uh, uh, two days of the draft. It wouldn't surprise me if they don't. And what also wouldn't surprise me is if they take a cornerback sooner than people think uh, because uh, they need a little more depth at corner and they need somebody opposite uh, Darius Slade. I'm not sure Tabor is going to be the answer there. And also safety. Uh, Glover Quinn is a little older. And wide receiver. I think Bob Quinn is going to be looking for pass this year as well as this year. And I think they're fine with the tight ends that they have and Roberts, Wilson, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce the other guy they got from Atlanta. But they are uh, looking for a wide receiver because Tate's going to be 30, and it's the last year of his contract. And Marvin Jones is at a point where they got to re-up. So I don't think it's going to be as simple as need. I think they're going to look on their board, and they're going to see who they need uh, also in the future in addition to now. And the future being the near future. I think they're looking to try to build a championship team instead of just getting into the playoffs this year and making everybody happy and letting them uh, raise ticket prices. And I think that's a good thing. I think Bob Quinn actually has a pretty good plan right now.